What's up? So, check it out. I got a shoebox. Uh, before we get into that shoebox, uh, let me mention that we are filming outside, obviously. Got the course behind us. Um, it is in the middle of town. We may get car noises, stereos, the crazy lawnmower neighbors building crazy lawnmower things, or any other noises. So, just giving you a heads up on that. But, I was at the flea market. I go to a lot of flea markets to swap meats. And this guy was selling all tools. And I saw something yellow popping out. I went over to inspect. And I found this. This is a Radio Shack off-roader 4x4. And it is a totally cool little truck. Uh, let's see, it doesn't have... Well, we'll look around on it. Maybe we'll find a year. I haven't really done a whole lot of uh, research on what year this was made. But I'm going to say late 80s, early 90s. And it has got steel hubs. Well, at least pot metal cast hubs. High and low gear. Oh, you're going to love this. Four C batteries and a nine volt. And that's made your parents go broke back then that's why you didn't get to play with them very often an awesome hard shell body and I got the radio the antenna is mashed off a little bit but it still extends and still works everything on this works that is the cool part and when we're done we're gonna take it over there and drive it on the track so what I am gonna do is I'm gonna get in closer with the camera so you can get a really nice look at this before we get going because this is just a great looking truck now you can get a nice look at it. Now you had an optional plug if you wanted to put rechargeable batteries in it. You could put those in there and this was your plug for your adapter. If you're on an off switch. These nice, actually really soft tires. Now I did not have this particular model growing up. I had, uh, we got mostly a lot of the on-road cars. The Ferraris and the Porsches and Lamborghini and stuff like that from Radio Shack. Had a couple of little off-road ones. There you got your high and low. Your metal. And look how clean that is in there. And we had our radio. Uh, 27 megahertz and it takes a 9 volt. It was a little dirty on this tab. I got it cleaned up enough to where it was working. And so this is super cool. If you run these and you want to save yourself some money, you can get these on Amazon or anywhere. But this is a AA to C battery adapter. And which works out just fine because they're both 1.5 volts. Just one of them's got a bigger case than the other. So this allows you to put a double A in and get the same run as you would on a C in there. Probably a little bit different milliamp hours, but same voltage and will work just fine. So those are pretty cool. Um, I'll go ahead and look up a set of those and throw a link in the description in case you need to find those. But let's get the batteries in this guy, get it on the track behind us, and just see how it does. I'm, I'm not expecting miracles, but it'd be pretty cool to see it going around over the little dirt hills and stuff. So we are in low gear, and let's give it a go. Oh, that low gear is slow. All right, we've kicked it into high gear. <laughs> Look at that classic goodness. <laughs> it may be lacking in power, but it sure makes up for it in awesomeness.
Now I do not plan on doing anything to this one other than running it, but I am gonna pick up a second one if I can find it because I have been told that they do really good with the upgrades. They're actually a pretty fun one when you put a modern power system in them. I can see it. But there we go, full work in order. And that is great. Now the steering, it doesn't work unless you're going forward or backwards. So that's kind of a, kind of like a boat. No turn unless the power's on. But as you can see, it's in great shape. It runs fairly decent for its age. A little low on the power side, but I mean, what can you expect? It runs on double A's and nine volts. Well, C's. But thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, if you like this type of thing, let me know. I have tons and tons of these classics. I have piles of Radio Shack, Nico, Tyco, just all kinds of cool stuff I've picked up here and there. Stuff, Some stuff I've just had for years. And if you want to see more of these vintage toy slash hobby grade vehicles from the 80s and 90s, yeah, leave it in the comments. Now hit that subscribe. I'd greatly appreciate it. If you've got a banner you want displayed on my course anywhere, send it my way. Channels big or small, I'll support you all. I'll put your put your banner right up there and it'll show up in the background of lots of stuff. Well, thanks for watching everybody. Have a great day and I hope to catch you on the next video.